statue of the seven. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the seven's protection over the world. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Statue of the Seven! Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers?